Our next performer is a uh, transplanted New York Jew who moved here to extend his childhood like the rest of you. Please welcome to the stage, John Joseph. Hi. Things have been really great lately. My mom had a stroke. I'm going bankrupt. And I got diagnosed with herpes. Genital herpes. It's, it's like acne for your dick. You're not uncomfortable yet, are you? When I told my penis, it was very, very sad. It thought no one would ever play with it again except for me. It was its worst life event since my rabbi cut his foreskin off. I'm only half Jewish. I'm kind of faking it here. Um, herpes is more common than pet poodles. F-150s and big screen TVs. One in four of you have it. You just I find it really interesting that the last <laughs> Now, the most fun part about having herpes <laughs> is telling a woman that you're about to have sex with that you have it. It's like going to a job interview and telling your potential boss that you're a convicted felon. <laughs> so my mom's a lot more fun since she had her stroke. <laughs> she used to be a chain-smoking alcoholic who scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yesterday we were on the phone and she told me about satellites landing to refuel next to her nursing home window. <laughs> when I was a kid I thought she was an alien. Now she hangs out with them. <laughs> See those big green eyes of hers, man. They are fucking frightening. <laughs> Sorry, I said fuck Christina. Um, um, I want to be a dad and a husband so badly. I've been dating younger women lately. <laughs> the AARP keeps sending me roping no. coupons. <laughs> <laughs> so what have I got to offer a fertile 30-something female? Well, I've got hair. I can fix anything in their house. And what was the other thing that I have to offer? Yeah. You make it up. You tell me. What do I have to offer? Herpes. Yeah. Herpes. Yeah. It's a great offering when you want to get married. So. The only problem is, by the time you have a child, She'll be changing my diapers the same time she's changing his. I'm a great girlfriend. <laughs> Women just open up to me. It's like I have a sign on my back that says, Free therapy. We'll listen to you cry about your problems all night. So I meet a woman, we have sex once, and she says she wants to be platonic. You mean the no sex kind of platonic? <laughs> when you want to read Plato with me. <laughs> Sad penis. So I make an appointment with a sex and love addiction counselor. She and I really hit it off. 
but that one ends up platonic too. <laughs> Nuns are starting to look really hot now. <laughs> Thank you, if you want to touch my hair after the show. It's going to cost you. 